No, seriously, join our Patreon. We have families to feed. Yeah. Oh my God, That's this beautiful. is the best thing that I've ever heard That's in my really entire beautiful. life. That was, that was very really good. Wait, where is that song from? Wow. Um, Who is we, it from? We have a, so welcome to the Valley Cast really quick. When we intro the show, we use user submitted intros. Mm -hmm. And we have a plethora of very talented listeners who have all made us different varying one, quality degrees oh my god intros. we're truthfully running incredibly low like i think that this might be said, the first one i've seen in a very long time but that being said this is episode 71 welcome trisha Whoa. hirschberger, trisha hirschberger. Trish the fish. I know. Um, That's right. My episode girl. seventy-one, and I'm pretty sure we have never doubled up. No, and if we, we did, it was an accident. accident. Yeah. We've had we've had around sixty-eight original compositions because we missed one or two episodes. So what Steve is also saying is submit your yeah, please. intros, please, because um, we are very low. But also, that was amazing. That was. That sh I feel like that should be your intro for every well, single thinking, one ever because like, that yeah. was so good. So here's the thing: I love the prompt where people create their own intros. Absolutely. I think it's great. We're kind of like running low, but I don't want anybody to be intimidated by like how quote unquote good something might be because everything's subjective yeah. too. But this we've so had true. some crazy we've had some stuff. like really funny, weird mm -hmm. like just set it into the sound recorder on their phone type yes. intros and yes. those are those are fun and we loved those Equally a lot so loved. don't hey, be it. afraid don't be a, don't be afraid to submit something that you believe in it's a valley cast intro and and i guarantee you we will play it everybody Later. quiet trish just say anything oh, at yeah, least like yeah, 10 yeah, words yeah. give us a give us a sentence bear this is how we do the thing Beautiful. Beautiful. Welcome to the Valley Cast. Uh, this is from I said that. the Valley Folk. We mm -hmm. have Trisha Hershberger yeah, today. Mm -hmm. um, this is a podcast where we all bring topics to the table. Yeah. Steve is starting a topic right now. Um, if you want to get this podcast early, go to patreon.com slash the Valley Folk and become part of the family. I'm not really starting a topic so much as just kind of like a, it's kind of like an. He just said a, he was getting in the weeds. It's, he just wants yep. to get in the weeds. It's kind of like a. We're going to we, be we here for 25 minutes. We can sprinkle it. <laughs> and No, but I have like a fucking incredible me too. Topic. I wonder if it's the same Take us one. There, Steve. No, I have a fucking incredible topic, but I don't want that to be. I want that to be like my little topic later on, and we'll have like a big. In fact, I am. I have so much faith in my topic. Wow. That I think we can. <laughs> I think we can end. Okay. End, we'll end it, it, and then it's like a high note. I got a like, good one that we we'll doing? transition to after we talk about okay, our source so bed days. Oh, and that's the other thing. If you don't know who Trisha Hersberger is or where we came from, we <laughs> well, did source fed back in the day. Who the fuck are you? You don't know who she is. Well, yeah, we have some new fans. I guess that's uh, true. We all worked yeah. on source fed together back in the day. We'll get ready to fall in um, love, everyone. She's one of the original six hosts, and we. I think there's a a bond that we'll we'll walk through the rest of our lives yeah. having with and what we're talking about with Trish always play, being able to play and not say no and blah 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 she can be reinserted into our group at any time and any this is moment so true. and <laughs> It's like nothing changed, mm -hmm. and we well, have fun, and it's it's a conversation that is endless. We yeah, do and we have a good time, and I miss you guys. We'll, we'll take a little stroll more. on old thought sidewalk. Not not memory lane. Not memory lane. Sidewalk. <laughs> not not history road. Old thought <laughs> sidewalk. <laughs> Welcome to the sidewalk. Stay off the grass. Stay on the sidewalk. <laughs> there was a committee me? of like we have to come up with a phrase for when we all talk about the past <laughs> what do you guys got well it's kind of like a trip down memory lane but well, that's been taken it. i hate it it sounds like christmas who's next reminiscing mm, that's a good word reminiscing reminiscing freeway <laughs> what the fuck is a freeway who's next <laughs> okay so trisha um, you speaking of your administrative and you're kind of like yeah. uh, you're you're kind of uh, control freak. I, yeah, well, I, I, mean, I wouldn't <laughs> I say, say organized. Your organi like organized. Speaking of your like... organization and stuff. At yeah. one point, Trisha and I ran SourceFed Nerd oh together. Oh my god, remember that? Yeah, it was when they couldn't 
find anyone that would take the shit pay to be our producer yep. days. Yep. And none of us were gonna get yep. a pay raise to be the producer yep. and <laughs> and run SourceFed Nerd. So we decided like, well, if we're gonna if our responsibilities are about to quadruple because we don't have a choice, we might as well do it together because not one person should have to like fall on that sword. Yes, yeah, Steve and I came up with this idea together, actually. This wasn't we put totally upon did. us. They were like, hey, one of you needs to step up and be the channel manager, which was the Oof. channel producer. And we were all like, cool, nobody wants no that. Wants like, that. Yeah. you're not going to pay us more. That. That's a ton of yeah. work. So Steve and I were like, okay, let's put our heads together. Yeah. And, and we like, were like, okay, what is Steve look- good at? <laughs> what is Trisha good at? And yeah. we'll divide and conquer. I'm like, Smart. I guess I'm kind of good at on the fly, funny ideas, and mm-hmm. maybe like a sketch here and there. And you were really fucking good at TCBing the schedule. Oh, I can TCB. Excel spreadsheet with the best. <laughs> of yeah. The so it was like, we were like a fucking powerhouse. Like, we, we, uh, I love we so kept much. that fucking falling fucking airplane or that falling <laughs> airship afloat, you know, yeah, with our wh- breath. <laughs> And like I tried to I tried to justify it as super legit in my mind. I was like, cool, so Steve is the creative director. And <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. No, well you had to <laughs> you had to like in, like truthfully like people were Labels it was like necessary. it was like make believe land yes. source fed was 100 percent make believe like, job it was yeah, make, it is a make believe it, it was make believe fucking land in the sense that it was like nobody had the fucking like answers exp- <laughs> nobody had the answers nobody had the expertise yeah. nobody had the know-how nobody knew what the fuck they were doing but somehow this ragtag group of fucking insane uh-huh. people and then like, you know, a couple of evil people in, thrown into the mix made the fucking thing work well, somehow. Elliot and- well, Elliot and Ross. <laughs> yeah. And we just and, <laughs> no, we we just somehow made the fucking thing work. And um and and it really was just like nobody knew what the fuck they were doing and just like producers would come in and out and and like tested talent would I come in and out. That. And I love like, when producers what? that had no idea what they were doing. Nobody like, knew what the fuck really they were doing because, because the like, truth oh. is is nobody knows what the fuck they're doing Ooh. on YouTube. Really. Devil's That's advocate true. though, you're you're saying that with a uh, a negative connotation. I feel I found I call, that electric and energetic. Yeah, I did as well. And I look back that's why on I'm that calling time it, with fondness. Yeah, that's why I'm calling it make believe land. Yeah, because yeah. it was like we went in and we had this dream job with fake Google money and like but, but, yes. no stakes. But the thing is, is it's like you no you straight. got to like you got to like year two and a half or whatever or like three and you're like yeah this is like a fucking dream come true but like mm-hmm. we're, but i'm also like really not okay mentally yeah. really not okay in my personal life like everybody had terrible crazy, shit going on just like life stuff going on, everybody yeah. had personal shit going yes. on everyone had mental health issues everyone because we're all comedians and performers and shit and drama kids we can't we're not no. normal functioning well, humans that are like building skyscrapers and, and shit. And none of us set out to do news. Yes, that's not like, at all. We're like, cool, Shish I'm is right. three years into this yes. job where people are trying to take me serious as a journalist. Yes, and I'm like, and it I was, don't know. And it was such a weird, like, I'm stepping up to the plate because mm-hmm. this is what I'm, I'm being asked to do, but really I just kind of want to perform. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so how can I marry those two things in a way that fulfills well, and me we were creatively like, and also meets my job requirements? Well, and <laughs> yeah. we were getting pushback from... And and this is we're not talking about anyone specifically when we say we got pushback because we had like multiple higher ups. Yes. So had, many like, people in charge. There were a lot of people that were kind of telling us what to do, even people that weren't really technically in a position no, to tell us what tell to us do. And a lot of people that were telling us contradicting things. But to everyone do. was yeah. freaking out because it was like a scary place. It was yeah. like it's this thing that's blowing up and it's working really well, thanks to Phil and and his massive audience and and his idea and all of that shit. But then it was like Literally, we were like, at any moment, this thing could just fall oh, the fuck fully. apart. That's we could how all lose our felt. jobs, yeah. and we'd all be out on our asses. So it was like this constant. Still st- feels like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> the valley certainly everyone. it does. I know, but it's like you know. <laughs> but at least now we're in charge of it. We can't blame anybody if yeah, it, fuck, if it falls apart. We're least, the reason yeah. it will fall apart. Yeah. If it falls apart. <laughs> so, but like anyway, it was just like we struggled and we had a great time and we met a lot of amazing people. And we we still are friends to this day, which is a testament to that place. Yeah. Which is kind crazy. Of like that time in our lives, yeah. And uh, yeah, I just have nothing but nice it's things like to say about buddy. working with you, Trisha, because we really we really banded together so many times when we were kind of like backed up against a wall. You yeah. Know, and and we kind of were like, we're just doing the best we can. And we're putting on that smile and we're fucking doing work. Yeah, it was crazy that they put six strangers in a room. Yeah. 
and we're like, we need you to work together. This is going to be incredibly high stress all the time, and you need to make stuff. Yeah. And yeah. not only did it work, but we all got along and mm-hmm. became friends out of going through that experience yeah, together. It is a, it's like a war. It really is like a war buddy. Like, <laughs> yeah. It really is. So you're just like, oh, wow. But the thing is, is like, we kind of forget, and this is getting a little too inside baseball, and then we'll change the subject because I feel like <laughs> this could turn really quickly. And we should move. But one thing I do want to say that, that maybe hasn't been said before is, is that the vetting process for the hosts and the talent on that show used to be like fairly comprehensive. Yeah. And then towards the end, it was just like, you all work for 50 bucks an hour? You're a host. Free for all. Like, it was literally like, I mean. who got 50 bucks an hour? I mean. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I know, right? I love so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, wait a minute. Who the fuck? Sorry, I meant meant 50 bucks a week. A day, (laughs) yeah. 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 But but anyway, um, no, but again, we, we. We had an amazing time, and it was so fucking cool. And we have every everything we have right now. We have SourceFed and Phil and Discovery and all these places to thank for it. Yeah, totally. Because even though we are immensely talented people, each and every one of us, including the ones that were thrown in at the last minute, incredibly talented people, funny people. Um, you know, we we still kind of had to <laughs> you know well none of us besides joe none of us knew how to youtube yeah none of us knew i how didn't to know YouTube. what it was <laughs> oh, I, I genuinely mean. had no idea what youtube was but that's and it the was thing cat like even though joe had his like expertise in the yeah. youtube world we were still kind of all on the same level yeah. because yeah. nobody knew what the fuck they it were was, doing it was a whole new thing i want to i think there's there's credit that needs to be given for i i give total props and and high fives for getting the six of us together like you said the vetting process was good it was very i think there was such luck in who they got of course they didn't know that we would be best friends right Mm -hmm. out of the gate thank god that happened yeah uh and they also (laughs) didn't know how we would take it because where source fed was supposed to go and where we took it as uh, a sextet was uh was different and Mm -hmm. i think for us the better but we styled this news thing (laughs) that we were supposed to oh it was a constant battle of what 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 we're supposed to do what we want to be more journalistic but we were (laughs) like we want it to be more entertaining and i think we found this 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 equilibrium that was intelligent and weird and and dark but we we were saying the things that we needed (laughs) to say on a journalistic standpoint but never taking it seriously and i think the smartest thing that we ever did was say two things uh one if this is the only place you're getting your news you're doing it yeah. wrong because we're not news and we would say we're not journalists but it didn't matter because yeah. people were doing that anyway yeah. and they right. were gonna continue to do but that we at least were, t- were in our educating process we would say you need to you need to go farther <laughs> no. than this well, all you really <laughs> needed to do was like look at like our just we none I didn't even graduate high school. We had people that were gra- like I didn't graduate college. A lot of people didn't yeah. graduate though. I That's... know, I know, but like what I'm saying is, is like we didn't have the credentials to be right. journalists. But we said that literally like, none of us all the time, and we said it when we would do a story, and then I would stab a watermelon for five minutes. I mean, basically, <laughs> basically what we were doing is we were taking the most popular news stories mm-hmm. and then just like kind of writing them from our perspectives. Mm-hmm. With a dash of plagiarism, and it was oh, just a like a big dash. That was a hard dash. It was of plagiarism. with a hard dash of plagiarism. But I mean, that's, I, was, that's, I had a constant thesaurus on my desktop. Yeah, it's I like, mean, and different word for. I think I I was the only one that someone came after for that, right? Really? I had a really nasty dude come after me uh, Wait, I for an article for, what? for a, one that Ross wrote. Really? Yeah. It was a script that Ross wrote, and I was just the other host in it. But this like, yeah. this dude came after me yeah. real hard. Sheesh. Oh shit! Um, and, like tried to call me out publicly for plagiarizing his work. I mean, and all look, this kind yeah. of stuff. And I was I I messaged him privately, and I was like, hey, don't want to take this up publicly. Just wanted to let you know, like, I'm not the one that wrote this. For, if you want to take it up with the person yeah. who wrote this, here's the yeah. Information yeah. His the name is Steve Zaragoza. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, I tried to like make peace and he just doubled down and got worse and yeah. I was like and blah, and blah. Yeah, that's yeah. someone that's just I, sad my mental wanted. health can't deal yes. with that yeah. when I'm in a situation where it they're is. like so you're making 7 to 10 videos a day between SourceFed and yes. SourceFed Nerd plus yeah. weekend content yeah we were just under the wire all the time and okay. yeah fucking copy and paste was our best friend but we always injected our own shit into Shooting it too out something well, in an hour is just like you're like that's not how journalism the works. other thing that's <laughs> crazy is when you do get the press releases because now I do a lot more in kind of the tech and video game space and the same press release goes out to everyone right mm-hmm. so if yes. you're taking the facts from the press release and then putting your own spin on it 
a lot of those articles are going to sound the same because they all got their facts from yes. the same press same release. Yeah. And a lot of people um, <laughs> didn't get their hands on things. They just got the press yeah, release. Right. So it's like, mm. this is all we have. And I would say for better or worse, there was a lot of source fed copycats after we did source fed. Oh, yeah. I remember when they would start to pop yeah. out. And I would say, and this is this is me, I, I don't think these are rose tinted glasses. Um, sure, every once in a while there would probably be like, a, we didn't inject enough of this. But for yeah. the most part, we would take a story a piece and we would put such a weird spin on it so much personality <laughs> yeah, make it so true. off the wall which is again one of the conflicts that would happen inside the walls and yeah. make it our own and yeah. i think we did that far more than we didn't so i feel my guilt is very thin in yeah. regards to yeah. W- w- yeah, and words I, like plagiarism which i refuse right. to uh put upon my head right <laughs> and i can say like at least i from being in that writer's room every single morning when yes. we're just trying to crank out stories, none of us copy pasted. No, you know what no. I mean? Like yeah. we we all took the fat, like took something, made bullet points from something and then made it into our own weird thing. And like Joe mm-hmm. said, injecting personality to the point where we would read a story and say, oh, this is a Lee and Steve one. Yeah. Um, because your personalities best fit I mean, how we, to tell that story yeah. and what weird bit you can put into it. Et right, right. And to be fair, we didn't copy and paste because... When you did that, it brought a different font style yes, into your script. Exactly and people could tell you copy and paste it. Totally. So then we'd copy and paste to a notepad, yeah. and then we'd make then sure the font sure was the same. Was then yeah, take that absolutely. copy and paste to yeah. the script. Totally. I still, I remember things that we would like, uh, we, we used Skype for inner office communications. Yes. And yes, I remember we links we so would stupid. send each other with like a, hey, check out this article. And it would be a link to something awful yeah, or like something some hilarious. Kind of or yeah. or, Rule 34 of us. Yes. There are so many things that for the I'm the map stuff when Will and I would play I'm the map on the every yeah. computer in the room I'm the map I'm the map and we just like map, turn it on ma- every it computer in the office and I you just hear this so. cacophony of yeah I, I remember at so. one point you you came in and you were like no 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 this is too early <laughs> well because we had to start super yeah. early which yeah. was crazy <laughs> but crack a dog I miss so it so early like I I, I kind of miss it too actually I, there's I still a not. gif of you recording me falling asleep yes! at my computer it was, a, like it was Ross a vine. dancing in the background. Um, yes, it was a vine, it was and a it vine. still exists on the internet. Yeah. But what I want to put as a disclaimer to that is, it was six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And yeah. I was in my twenties. Yeah. yeah. Okay, people. <laughs> yeah, I was up until yeah. four the night before, right. and then I had to come and, in at six. And, and not be a just person. one day. Every day. Every day. So Every that was day. probably Thursday or Friday <laughs> yeah. morning where, yeah. like, I'm existing on no sleep the yeah. whole damn yeah. week. Yeah. Yep. Guys, I uh, missed that. I missed it. <laughs> oh I loved God. getting I up at five. Too. I loved getting there at six, uh, getting oh. my work done and getting out the door me by too. two. I could go pick my daughter up from school and then I would have the rest of the yeah, day for you other still stuff. Sunlight you were outside. already on parent gross. clock, though. Oh, yeah, I was. What about me? Now that I'm on parent clock, I go to bed at nine. I wake up at seven. Like, it is no problem. I would have been much better with it now dude i lived close by life, and though. i got there early i didn't i wasn't on time i was early to that shit you're a morning like, person i have never been i never mm-hmm. you, every ounce of my bones i yeah, cannot I, I feel like towards like, the end i will wake come up in on time was, oh no it was never maybe 10 percent. it was 100 percent. <laughs> it was not even 10 percent is very kind very thank generous. you so much wait, what are we talking about my coming in on time oh, right yeah, yeah no, it was no, never no, no, no. wait wait and that's I got to very generous yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. We, i got to the point where i literally just i wouldn't even there'd be no i'd be like yep my favorite well, thing was like the like every time you'd come in and be like, my tire! And I'd be like, how many fucking tires do you Dude, have? But <laughs> do you remember that there was a time, and this is the truth, there was a time where I was driving such shitty cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that yeah, really was true. like, there was a time where I ran out of a pothole <laughs> and it split the frame of my car. Yeah. <laughs> the frame of my car split in half. Yeah. And a woman on the side of the road was like, if I didn't see it, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> I was like, Hey guys, a quick word from our sponsor, Bespoke Post, and their Box of Awesome. With the Box of Awesome, Bespoke Post sends guys only the best stuff every month. They test everything in the Box of Awesome themselves, from style and grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear. Every product gets put through the ringer before it gets put inside a a monthly Box of Awesome. It's basically a bunch of really cool themed boxes with a a bunch of stuff regarding that theme. For instance, this month they have one called Grow, which is this really cool box that they send you a wooden box and you can put soil in it and then they send you a bunch of seeds for spices and herbs and you can grow your own spices and herbs for your at-home cooking and use it's really cool Uh, and they got other boxes such as 
uh, retreat, which comes with a hammock or kicks, which is a, a shoes, a pair of white shoes with some cool shoelaces and whatnot. So uh, go to the website, check it out, see what is up your alley and to get started take the quiz at boxofawesome.com your answers will help them pick out the right box of awesome for you they release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories it's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel any time each box costs only 45 bucks but has over 70 dollars worth of gear inside which is a, a deal right say that's a deal that's my son, Jackson. He screamed, deal. Call to action. This is it. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code VALLEYCAST at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code VALLEYCAST for 20% off your first box. If Elliot Morgan were here, he would say the cigar box he got was pretty dang dope. And our other sponsor this week is one of our favorites. It's Honey. Let's talk about something we can all agree on, saving money. Uh, the reality is, if you're not shopping around, you're probably not saving money. So what if there was a way for somebody else to do the shopping around for you? That's a time-saving answer to a time-saving inquiry that you may have had. Well, that's exactly what Honey does. Honey is a free tool that you download to your computer's browser. And while you shop online, Honey scans the internet for coupon codes so you don't have to and other discounts. And then it automatically applies the coupon with the biggest savings to your cart at checkout like magic. It's like a... It's like a coupon wizard for your computer. It works on over 20,000 sites like Amazon, Nordstrom, J.Crew, Nike, Best Buy, Target, Macy's, and more. And it takes zero effort to install, just two clicks, and you're ready to start saving anytime you shop online. Instead of taking my word for it, listen to what actual users have to say about Honey. Yep. That was my son. He's not an actual user, but I will read you <laughs> a comment from one. Rating 5, comment from Chrome Reviews. Love, honey. Heard about it through a podcast and finally caved after hearing their sponsored ad so many times. I cannot believe I haven't used it earlier. So useful, and I have, and it saved me so much more money since I installed it. Was an idiot to have not installed it before. Don't be the person that this person was before that time. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, <laughs> don't be that person. So we love honey here at the, the Valley Folk. It saved us a lot of money in the office, chairs, equipment, batteries, uh, a bunch of stuff. So let us help you. Uh, there's no reason to not use Honey. It's free to use and easy to install on your computer in just two clicks. Okay. Honey's yummy. <laughs> Honey's yummy. Don't take it from me. Take it from our listeners and my son. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash valleycast. That's joinhoney.com slash valleycast. Honey, the smart shopping assistant that saves you time and money. Can you say valleycast? Valleycast. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, and one other thing. Uh, we have these on the table, so I thought I would shout them out. We haven't done it for a while. Uh, we have a bunch of cool stuff at our DFTBA shop, like this Bear Moon poster uh, that is kind of part of Valley Folk lore, and this On Tuesdays We Ride sign poster that is also available there, along with our shirts and hoodies and hats and uh, a bunch of other stuff, like enamel pins and patches. So you should go check it out. Yeah, uh, shirts and hoodies. And patches. Uh, DFTBA.com, search The Valley Folk, and go... Uh, Go get yourself some uh, a swag. Back to the podcast. Yeah, a swag. <laughs> so this was uh this is posted on our Reddit page where you just got An our hour? fuck. This is the one. Uh -huh. This is what I was gonna. This was my topic. Oh, Great. No. Well, I just well let's it. save it for the end. Well, we can just start now. I, okay, I, I right, just right, kicked right, it up right, uh, right. because I uh, I know what I want to transition it into too. Yeah, this is, is probably totally the same it. Thing too. Okay, so this is on our Reddit. Stop Steve... taking my job, Joe. Stay off the <laughs> subreddit. Steve got the. Uh, <laughs> Steve got our intro. Our yes. intros get yes. posted on SoundCloud and on our Reddit. So here we go. Yeah. This is, uh, today I fucked up by cutting off my nipple. <gasps> and oh, I don't think I'm ready for this. No, no, you are, you are, you are, you are. Okay. Um, and it says, the, the actual title <gasps> of the post is, my latest today I fucked up involved you guys, us. That's so I sweet. hope you enjoy in a sadistic way. Aww. This is posted by Ghost070607. <laughs> here we go. So this had happened this morning. Oh, wow. I was doing my weekly Sunday grooming process, listening mm -hmm. to the Valley Folk podcast. Whilst nice. I oh, thinking. I can't, shush, I can't. It's tackle the really black sweet. forest that creeps over my body as the week goes on. Wow. Face a... done. Looking great. Checked with my partner. She agrees. Oh, wow. Oh, it's she... a double sink, I'm assuming. Okay. Shoulders cleaned. Oh, shush, and I are not Useless place to have hair. Checked with my partner. She agrees. Okay. 
I tell her I'm doing my chest next. She says, leave it. She doesn't like sense. it trimmed down. No. I laugh in a condescending way, implying that I know better. I'm back in the bathroom, <laughs> looking at my chest, deciding that I won't trim all the way down. She might be right. But my nipples do have a bit of hair fringe situation going on. I grab my barber scissors and get to work on the right side of my chest, carefully creeping over my area. Wait, 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 wait. Damn it, never mind. It's too late. I was going to pull up like scissor sounds. <laughs> It's a radio play we'll add, now. We'll add all this. Yeah, yeah, we'll add them in post. Okay. <clears throat> I look in the mirror. Right nipple is now on fleek, everybody. Oh, thank God. Only the left Turn nipple to go. Jesus, Steve. <laughs> Jesus, Steve. Uh, Steven. Side note. I love dinosaurs. Love learning about them. Love talking about them. As long as I'm listening, someone's bringing up dinosaurs could pretty much distract me from anything. I Lee, is that. this a relative of yours? It's, it is. It's so, me. <laughs> the Valley Folk podcast is on, and one of the hosts, the dashing, Joe charming, Barretta. charismatic, juicy booty Joe Beretta. There it is. There it is. For those who listen to it. <laughs> begins to discuss the extinction event of the dinosaurs. I listen intently. Barber scissors still. snapping away. I cannot. I cannot. This is killing me. I feel something different. Not nope. painful. Stop. I can't. Just different. I look down. Oh, God. Blood is trickling no. out of my nipple. No, you don't need to add more scissors now. No, take it down. Take it down enough. I wipe it away. There is a hole panic starts to set in. The scissors, the blood, the hole, and then I see it in the bathtub. No, 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 no. A small detached nipple. No! (laughs) We'll be right back. (laughs) And we're back. This episode of NPR's (laughs) Nipple Talk comes to you from... (laughs) Wait, can you get that reattached? We're not done yet. Oh my god, I cannot. Wait, hold up. Uh, More music? <clears throat> oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. The music's uh, back. We have we the go. conclusion. I might vomit. It's the Keep conclusion. <laughs> Here we go, and we're back. Thank you for thank you to our sponsors. Scissors, Scissor World. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's not what you thought it was, was it? <laughs> bathtubs and bathtubs. <laughs> God. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> Joey's nipple repair. It's just laying there amongst all the body shrapnel. We can't. Alone. I show my partner my handiwork. After realizing that I'm okay... The fits of laughter begin as we realize that it's quite a cold day and I will forever only have one hard nipple poking through my t-shirt. TLDR, weekly body grooming plus distraction via dinosaurs led to having one less nipple. Edit. Just to clarify, it was only the nipple I lost, not the entire areola, for far less surface area. Nevertheless, I no longer have a left mountain peak the end wait so is he okay that can get infected i had we a friend gotta... who ripped off both nipples what? as a kid on an inner tube he was inner tubing in the water and it was too dry where he was laying so his nipples got ripped oh off. oh my god grew back a bit yeah yeah oh my god this is this is so terrifying for i think <laughs> women are in particular because ter- you guys just don't think about it you guys my are just nipples like, are they hard exist. now look yeah, I mean, that's fine. My nipples have inverted. My uh. nipples have like 100% <laughs> crawled back inside my body. This is so terrifying. I'm telling you, my nips have been through some shit. <laughs> I know. That's what and I'm saying. This is still terrifying. This is still terrifying. Old shit nips Trish yeah, right. over here. <laughs> God. Okay, Steve so is still uh, finding the best scissor sound. I will wow. say. That's terrifying. Thank you I for, hope you're okay. Yeah. I, I, I well, hope he sounds you're okay. like he's got a good uh, disposition yes. and a sense of humor about it. Thank you for sharing that story. Oh that's God. amazing. Yeah. I mean, look, there, we all have those scars that, like, you think about every time <laughs> you th- every time you see it, you go, like, oh, that was from, like, I have one of my wrists from a curling iron burn. That was like you so turn off intense. those damn scissors. Turn off, the turn scissors. off those you have damn to. scissors. You have to. But like, don't you have those things that you go like, oh, that's from that. Like, yeah. that's from when I fell on this or when I, now this guy has this treasured moment of that's when I laughed at a dinosaur moment in a freaking valley cast thing. It's, it's all I don't your have fault, a guys. Yes. I know. I Here's can't. the thing though. There's oh, a lot of people in the so comments sweet. asking for photos. I do not want them. And I really want them. Okay. And <laughs> 
<laughs> there's people saying they don't believe it unless there's photos, and the original poster has not come back with photos. Not yet. So is Pixar it possible it that it's no. a Pixar didn't happen situation? I don't know. I feel like because people here are saying like you would have been in so much pain if you had cut off your nipple. I, I, would you have? Because I've, I've sliced I told, my nipple one before. One time, Delman, I was te- I was teasing him, and I was like, "Does nipple play do anything for men?" And he said it was like licking his wallet. Wow. <laughs> he was like, "You might as well just lick my wallet." I think uh, like I, it does nothing for me. <laughs> okay. I think it's different strokes for different I think folks. It definitely you know what is I mean? different if you get those scissors. I'm sorry, I'm trying to turn them Dude, off, and Steve, they won't. I swear, they just to God. keep playing, and it's weird. I was going to transition that story of the nipple detachment uh, to any dumb injuries that oh, you guys suffered so growing many. up or ever just a dumb oh, freaking yeah. injury that maybe you <laughs> still have a scar from I have or... so many scars from so many dumb I mean I I mean I'm serious when I say so many curling iron burns that it's like <laughs> it's sad it's but your hair looks amazing thank you very much <laughs> I have scars your, your wrists are disgusting, <laughs> are disgusting your hair is amazing so, thank you so much I'm trying to think of <laughs> I know Cover I your have wrists, like please. Split <laughs> maybe knees. it's curling iron <laughs> 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 That's exactly it. I'm trying to think of really good I, ones. I, the only thing, so like I never broke a bone. I never like, I was very careful. I was very scared of everything. But I, I worked in a, a friend's haunted house one year. And, and I worked I actually worked there for years. There was like a local, it was like the Oxnard, old Oxnard High School haunted house. Cool. It was like the high school my mom went rad. to. And it was like a shut down high school. And mm-hmm. then they just kind of like. Nice. Uh, a, it was abandoned and so the city was like let's turn it into a haunted house and so my friend ran it and so we were there helping him like clean things out and throw away the desks and like we found all sorts of cool shit it was a fun time in my life but um, at one point there was like this dark room that just was like busted the door was busted open and it was just like garbage inside and so I'm just in there like um, cleaning things up and I'm like oh what's in this dark room no, and I no. turn on the light and I like shine it in there and I step in and then I feel something on oh, my I foot remember the- no no no, 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 no. Ah, and I, I was this. like Ooh, that was weird. Where did I step in? No! And I look down on the ground and there's like Yikes. just these pieces of wood and I'm standing on a plank of wood. <laughs> nope. And then I lift my foot yep. up and yep. the plank of wood comes up with <gasps> no! my foot. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. And I'm like, oh, I remember the, oh, no, dude, no, I was the, no. And I'm like a scaredy cat. And oh, I'm like, yeah, I never yeah. want, and, and all I can think of is like, they're going to remove my foot. They're, they're going to call me plank foot the <laughs> yeah, rest of my gonna, life. Oh, Old like, plank foot I'm over gonna there. I'm going to lose my foot because I was like, Petness fuck this. Ter- real. And yeah. so I like, I sat down on the ground right where I was <laughs> and I put my foot up on my knee and I'm like, and there were people around and I'm like, guys, like I stepped in a nail. <laughs> And everyone's like, oh, fuck. And they're looking at it. And they're like, oh, well, you got to pull it out. You oh, pull it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, like, like, maybe someone just take me to a doctor or something like this. And they're like, no, you got to pull it out. You got to like pull oh, it out right puncture now. Puncture wound. Cause if the, and this is like old wood, right? Like, no. This is like stop, fucked up wood. And old That's nails hard. and like 1950s We need to, we're going to need to preface shit. this one. Like, yeah, watch where you step. Watch where you so step. Anyway, Don't I ripped step the... on an old nail. to do the dee da boop. That's a good buy My favorite set. Segment on Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> so I ripped the, I ripped it out, and it was like not really painful no, ripping it's it odd, out actually. Odd, yeah. And then I took the shoe off, and my sock was like covered with blood, and it was like bleeding. So I like wrapped it up or whatever, and I like hobbled back into Ugh. a car, and then someone took me home. Can't. And then I like just put it, I like cleaned it up when I got home really well. And then like my mom was like treating me like a baby the whole time. My meal. Oh, my <laughs> of course she was. I love Let your me. mom. Let me have your meal. Like, <laughs> Let me give you sopita so and nachos good. and macaroni and cheese. And like she gave well, me like, the best. Like and she's like we gotta elevate your foot and everything. So we cleaned it up. It was really nice. And then I went to sleep. And then I woke up the next morning. And the entire mm-mm, mm-mm, bottom mm-mm, of mm-mm, my foot, nope. toes mm-mm. included, mm-mm. was black. Please tell me oh. you went to the hospital at this I point. I was like, why am I foot black? Oh. And so we rushed to the urgent yes. care. And it's they were like, you stepped on a nail. They were like, that's <laughs> blood um, pooling up inside oh. the the pad of your Bloody. foot, wow. essentially. And also, we're going to give you a tetanus shot. Yeah, yeah. you have and to then, have a tetanus yeah, shot. That's yeah. the important that was a crazy. Part. That was the craziest I, like, accidental. That's crazy. <laughs> My mm. it's gone now, uh, but I have a I had for a very long time a road rash um, scar on my butt from when I um, and hear me out. <laughs> 
Uh, we would do very dumb stuff uh, as teenagers. Thank you so much. See, this is necessary. Um, and I had a bike, and it, it was a pretty shitty bike. Like, a, you know, one of those, like, I grew out of it for a long time. It was like Rainbow Bride or something that I was like, should have been on an adult bike. Little and, me and well, uh-huh. her little shitty bike. And Woo! me and my friend Ashley, uh, we she was my next door neighbor. We had a blast of a time to the point where we, we'd like eat mud pies. We'd do very dumb stuff. I remember one time we painted half of my house. My mom got real pissed, um, <laughs> which makes sense. Is that a bike sound? Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Uh, we decided she had a quad and we decided to tie the bike to the quad Yes, and be like, let's yes. see how fast we can go. And I, uh, and we just did it and it was a blast for like five runs until like one of us went too hard on the quad and it was, Ashley went too hard on the quad and I was like, stop it. And she was like, huh? And I was like, stop it. She was like, yeah. <laughs> and then it was like a full back and forth. And then it was just me like dive sliding because it was so fast I thought I was gonna like slam into her oh, no. and I had a full and like uh. I remember my mom was like how did this happen and I was like well I crashed my bike and she's like no Oof. like this is because I had road rash here oh. but I yeah. for, until I was like early 20s okay she crashed like five minutes ago <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was trying to find a good crash wow. but, is that what it sounded like it, da, 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 da. for a while like, mid 20s I had a road rash yeah, like scar on my you. butt wow. and even now I feel like I still have a little bit of a road rash why don't you just whip that out let's see check it out did you I get in trouble like how in trouble did you get not much trouble because I I'm positive I lied we lied real good about it there was I was I mean, I think that my mom is so smart, and but there are lies that we told her that I, I'm almost positive she was just like too tired to parent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it was just the yeah. like, I can't. Like she wow. knew that we did dumb stuff all the time, and she was yeah, just like, whatever, go all to your right, room. yeah. <laughs> I, like one time she found a bottle cap. This is I hope she doesn't listen. She found bottle caps in my in my um, trash from like a party with beer. Like from like us drinking beer, and I was like, "That's from my bottle cap collection." <laughs> and she was oh, like, man. "All right, you fucking, like, <laughs> you fucking earned it." I earned it, but also like they were the same bottle it's caps. My, it was uh, six of cap Bud collection. Lights, like six Bud Lights. And I was like, "This is from my bottle cap collection." And she was like, "Oh, All sweet right. collection, Just, Lee." Uh-huh. <laughs> Why do you have like, beer fucking, in whatever. your bottle cap collection? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a full like, okay, like I'm just too tired for this today. Like, all right, but I was covered, like covered road rash. And she was like, how'd that happen? I was like, crashed my bike. And she was like, pretty hard. There's no hills around here. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Trisha, well, got Trisha any, why don't you uh, tell us about the time yeah. that you uh, cut off your nipple? <laughs> Uh, that I did not do, thank God. But I was uh, I was kind of the opposite kid of Steve. So whereas Steve said he was too hesitant uh, to try anything and do anything, I was the kid that like thought I was invincible yeah. for cool. some reason. I think that's you. unexpected um, to me for some right? reason. Right? Yeah. yeah I know. I, I was that. a huge yeah, tomboy as a kid. I was all about like climbing the tallest yes. tree I could find, cool. and I shot archery and I shot guns and I like yeah. I, I was the kid that I'm gonna build a fire because I can. Like I, I was that kid. <laughs> Um, and <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh, me, so there was a, a gra- I grew up in a very hilly area. So grass and hills in rural Pennsylvania. And we, you know, those little Fisher Price cars that are red on the bottom and yellow on the top. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. We thought it would be real fun to get in those and roll down a grass hill. Yeah, like, yeah as you should. Because it, it, there was no snow, so it wasn't sledding time, but we wanted to have the same experience yeah. as oh sledding God. anyway. Is, so we thought this is going to be awesome. Turn it down, Steve. This is insane. Uh, so I volunteered to be the first one because I was like, I'm not scared. You know, so I get in, <laughs> oh, shit. I get in this Fisher Price car at the top of this grassy hill. And, uh, this is some Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. <laughs> My cousin like rears it back and then runs really Ugh. fast with it behind it, pushing it, and pushes me down the hill. Well, of course, it's not a smooth no. surface. So one of the wheels gets caught in a bump or something somewhere, and the whole thing starts rolling. <laughs> just <laughs> head over wheels <laughs> with me <laughs> in it. <laughs> yeah, just it's just it's just <laughs> going. Oh, I love with it. Me so in much. it. <laughs> and so I finally it finally gets to the bottom of the hill. The car like falls over. I kind of fall out of it. Spilling um, out. And my cousin's like terrified yeah. that I'm super injured. And I'm like, I'm, I, at this point, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. But like super out of it. And we went to tell my mom that like I might potentially You're like Meryl have done Streep something. with your head turned around yeah. and death becomes Yeah, her. and so I didn't, I didn't <laughs> break any bones or anything, but I definitely had a concussion. Oh, baby. Oh. I oh. Did, from my head slamming into the top.
top of that Fisher Price car <laughs> dun, over dun, and dun, over dun, and dun. Oh, yeah. Oh you were God. inside a roll cage. Yeah. That's yes. so Except crazy. Except for not strapped in yeah. at all because <laughs> in a Fisher, Fisher Price, Price car. car. Um, so yeah, don't God, do that. So you good. might think that's a real fun idea. I did dumb stuff like that all the time. I was like, if I put a beanbag chair at the bottom yes. of my steps in my yes. basement and then run and just leap off the yeah. top of the steps, this is obviously going to be me we flying. We did it all the time. Of course. Uh, Jumping nope. off the roof to your trampoline. <laughs> yes. I did it all the time. Yep. And what a, like, so dumb. So, so dumb. So dumb. There'd be a light snow on the ground and we would jump from our yeah. roof. And be like, this is, it's fine well, now. time. Yeah. Oh, my God. But, yeah, that, that, that. Fisher Price car is probably my worst. That's one. so funny. That's so. Man. I love that you were heavily concussed. You know what I wish, and I, 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 I'm not, I'm not doing a call out to him or anything because he's the, the best and we love him. But like, that's a story I would want Andre to animate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good Just God. Slamming down. Andre is so successful now. <laughs> yeah. I know. He Andre, is so Andre is successful. We met him. Did you? Do you have you met him? Yeah, he came I met to him the when office. he was at the streamy. Yeah, he's the best. Yeah, he's, just, he's the kindest boy. guy. So much. Very happy for his success. I love. Yeah, there, there's those things that you do as a kid that, like, now you you would you like quite honestly never like steve was riding a scooter and i was like please be careful oh come on because <laughs> you get older and you realize that death is imminent yeah. and yeah. like yeah. Imminent. you're not Fully invincible real. anymore well yeah. and as a parent you're like there's that but then it's that's only like 20 percent of your worry the yeah. other 80 percent is like look kid if you crack your head open that's like my day yeah. i gotta yeah. like take you <laughs> my day and maybe my month yeah like let's yeah. not and my, like i get the trisha do you feel this when you watch um your little one like He's probably not too daredevil yet, but like Jackson's jumping from couch Jackson to couch. Does, he's like, he's, a, he's, he's starting to animal. do that. And so is Hayden a little bit. Yes. And I, I, I feel a physical experience now where my heart and my Whew, stomach yeah. drop <gasps> when I see him take a leap or get ready for it. And yeah. It's something that I used to do, and I kind of like I encourage it in theory and from an idealistic you point of view because you're growing up, yeah, you're having fun. Yeah, and it's also fun. confidence. Building. And we're talking it's about it like thing, we loved yeah. it, like we loved mm-hmm. it, and yeah. I don't, and I. But when I see him do it, man, I I go dad. I'm yeah. like, yeah. no, <laughs> not gonna happen. But you love doing it as a kid. You and I doing love it. doing yeah. it now. Yeah. I'm gonna go jump off a cliff this summer. Like, yes. I do it, and I'm going. Please to, don't kill yourself, I'm, Joe. Well, you dude, can you imagine the numbers for the valley? Yeah, folk that'd if be I great. Die? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Fingers yeah. crossed. So, you know. <laughs> so, you know. so it's Who's like gonna run it. I mean, yeah. that video would probably <laughs> get pulled. Right. Yeah, we're gonna be honest. So it's like trying to find this balance of like. Yeah, go live and be adventurous. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but also, also like, man, I got to pay for that. anything that you do. <laughs> so be careful. We have friends careful. that we see, and I'm sure you guys do too, but we see like, th- because it's such a worrisome thing, like you see that that child is like a full panic attack of like, where it's like, my toys are only in this bag and not allowed out of this bag yeah. because I might trip and fall in. And you're like, oh my God. So you feel like you have to do the like, jump off the cliff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. As you panic, um, you know. It's a weird tightrope. Yeah. Because it, you're, it, like your kids really are, I forget which comedian said it but they said it's like having your heart outside of your body all the time yeah so like your heart's just gonna go cross that street and you have to be cool with it yeah uh, because that's true go- like if anything happens to this tiny human it is the end of your yes, world of course so you just have to trust that they're okay <sighs> so i it's this weird tightrope totally of like understand. please don't do that oh yeah steve's <laughs> got his tamagotchi, his tamagotchi. <laughs> Uh, very concerned for the safety of that Tamagotchi. I got one more story before we transition go, Joe, go. or, or whatever. In regards to what you're talking about, uh, I took Jackson bike riding oh recently. God, those noises, those Tamagotchi <laughs> noises. I took him on his bike, and he's still got his training wheels on, but um, um, just trying to keep go. him brave, trying to like uh, <laughs> yeah, get him out there, and he's great at it. He's a pro. I'm at the point where I'm going to take him off the training wheels off and let him go. Yeah. Um, admittedly, because we're not really going to places where it's that dangerous, I would say I'm a bad parent that I've let him not wear a helmet yeah. 20% of the time. Okay. Because I'm usually right next to him or walking on a sidewalk yeah. or whatever, but I'm, but I'm also trying to... Cool bike sounds. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the uh, the habit. I'm starting to, the habit for him. <laughs> and so I make him wear his helmet this day, and we go down to a parking lot that's empty down the street from my house, and it's got a little incline to it, but there's a yeah. circle that he can ride around it and just keep going and going and going. And I go, you know what, dude? Go for it. Oh. Go as fast as you can. And he goes, <laughs> okay. Oh and he starts going. He goes, does he does one lap super fast and he gets that downhill speed and no, he no, comes no, no, back no, no, around no. for the second lap and he's he's freaking pumping. And I look at him and I'm like, he's not going to be able to make that turn. And oh. he doesn't make the turn. He starts to turn. He's freaking out. Yeah. He doesn't have the body control or the, the, oh, the know how to break know. yet. Oh, I see him start to lean. He flies over the handlebars. <gasps> bike crashes on top of him and his head <gasps> slams. Oh, no. 
slams <laughs> into, <laughs> and I'm watching this from afar in slow motion. Steve. He hits the ground, he slides, and you know, like, uh, like a rag doll when the body hits, hits the that, ground, and then the, and then the head even, snaps down right nipple. after it. It's like, crack, yeah. really hard. His head <laughs> cracks down, not on the ground, but right on a curb. Oh! American History Joe. X style. Did your oh, whole life fuck. flash behind yeah. before your his, eyes? But oh his helmet God. hit it. Dunk. Give me a good dunk, Steve. Give me a good thud, Steve. Okay, here we yeah. go. Go find that. <laughs> thud. That's kind of what it's like. But I saw his head slam right into the corner of a curb. And I just, I freeze. And I go, you okay, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> and he gets up. He's like, yeah. I'm fine. And I go. Thank God for that helmet. Yeah. I go, oh, you're never not wearing yeah. that ever again. Yeah. It literally freaking saved yeah. his Here's life. Here's your thud. You oh know, guess who God. doesn't. Oh, well, that was a good one. That was yeah. a really good one. That's, oh, <laughs> that's that kind of what it sounded one. like. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't. I'm, I, that would have messed, messed me up for a full month. Yeah. 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 I don't think mom heard that story for a while. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and then he fell, and that's why he's wearing it now. And he then he, stop with the Steve, thugs. and then he ran ran around the corner. He lost control. He flipped over the the handlebars, and where were you? He's flying. Through. Oh, <laughs> and he's a bass drum. Oh, guys. he's a bass drum. Yeah, it was. It's a 1930s radio show. God, it was. It was such a what if moment. It was so scary, oh but, but it was now also, you know. Now yeah, that's like, it was also oh, a little high five moment. I'm like, way to go, make me wear his helmet. Oh, oh good. <laughs> That one, now that oof, one time. Oof, um, oof. Now your son can't say the. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, really quick, even though we're kind of at the end here, Trisha, do you want to give your quick thoughts on Game of Thrones? Because oh my god, Game of Thrones ended, and I know you've already been on like seven shows talking about I'm fucking sure. Game of Thrones and shit. But I think Trisha and I feel the same way a little you, bit about it. Yeah. Do you want to just do you want to just give your quick thoughts? I mean, even if it runs a little Look, long. She doesn't. She doesn't even face. know. She's like, I know. She's, she's I know. Sad. This is this. It's the saddest because I am a super fan of this franchise yeah. and this franchise has been with me over 20 years because I started reading the books. You did. She would um, always be our person that would so, know more. Well, it's, it's not about knowing more. It's about having a love it's for this world and this better. universe. And yeah. <laughs> than anyone I, else. No, I, I, I feel super sad. Yeah. That's the best way to say it. A after the Bells episode, so not, this pe the, not the finale, but the one before that, I was angry. It was yeah. just rage. I actually couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning all yeah, night. Yeah, Alana was pissed I was. off, I was pissed, too. too. I was angry. And then after the finale, I was just sad because I knew after they went where they went with the Bells that I didn't care about yeah. what happened next at all. So when you say um, the bells, you mean the surrender to the inevitable burn. So the episode was called the bells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so do you feel like uh, the because the, they were setting up Daenerys is kind of like having I'm not, Mad King. Yeah, I'm not upset stuff. where it ended. I'm upset with how we got there. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yeah. Because uh, I think it's. Wasn't earned. I don't, a lot of I, stuff wasn't yeah, earned. Wasn't earned is a great way to say it. I think that there's also a lot of wonderful things about that world. Like, uh, the oh, yeah, wait. Game of Thrones spoilers, by the way. <laughs> the various oh, yeah, mythologies <laughs> of, uh, you know, uh, the faceless man, Azor yes. Azai, the drowned god. The that science were never fiction fully that, explored. Yes. And people say, oh, we didn't have time. That would have been so boring. No, but that's. Um, yeah. But I mean, like Arya spent two years learning yeah. how to be the faceless assassin, and we never fleshed out what that philosophy or theology was. And to someone like me who really likes the details, I know yeah. not everyone yeah. is a me, and that's no, fine. I, fully agree. I think but people I think watch the, the show because of the details. Yeah, yeah, I think the more real you make the world, the more we care. Yeah. And yeah. when you stop fleshing out the details, it makes the world feel less real. It makes the characters feel less real and believable. And I think that we stopped fleshing out the world yeah. towards the end. And that's why a lot of people were like, well, that was underwhelming or I didn't care. Now, that being said, that's just my feelings. A lot of people felt differently. A lot of people felt it was very earned I and they really not. enjoyed I the series. I did a poll on my Shish. Instagram and it was like, 60% unhappy, 40% happy. Oh, so I think it's more split hmm. than people realize. I think the people who are angry are more vocal about yeah, it, which is sure. always the case. Um, Thank but you, Twitter. I mean, I the, the TV show is what it was. The but performances feel... were brilliant. The cinematography was amazing. Yeah. The effects were awesome. They did huge things making this event television in an era where that doesn't exist. So there's a lot of things to love about the TV show and what it was. And there are some ways, especially in the early seasons, that I thought the show did it better than the books. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. But now, I just... Just the only way I could kind of get myself out of the depression that I was in <laughs> was <laughs> thinking this is not the end. 
Yeah. We yeah. have prequels, and hopefully George R. R. Martin will release more books. Yes. And yeah. we will then maybe get that, the, the fans will maybe get that satisfaction they were looking for, because this is what the series chose to give us. And overall, when you look at it as a whole, I think it was still a brilliant yeah. Yeah. yeah, Yes. Groundbreaking. Yes. Can so, I can I read to you what my mom said? My mom, I want to hear mom, what your mom said. I do want to hear what Give context said. about how big of a fan you're. Your mom yeah. is My huge. mom has read all the books, and she's like a super Game of Thrones nerd, and she loves the show unapologetically too. and loves everything that happens regardless of how stupid we see it as it. because we see it through the eyes of critical millennials right and, she doesn't and she certainly doesn't and she grew up with like clash of the titans yeah. and shit like that and yes. this is like when you when I you think about mom. yeah jason and the argonauts and stuff like mm-hmm. when when you think about those things it's like th- that's like game of thrones is the upgrade of yes. jason and the argonauts yeah. and shit so anyway this is what she said about game of thrones her closing thoughts Dear Stevie, my wonderful son. Oh my God, I love her. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. Here are my reflections regarding last night's Game of Thrones yes, ending. Tell yes. In summary, John had no choice but to kill Daenerys, was way too powerful after her conquests. We saw that her we saw what her anger could do. The dragon, I forgot the name. <laughs> wow, what an amazing part of the episode. I cried for John, and in the end, he was still blackballed, ended up with nothing, lost his women, but off he went with his buddy Ghost and the wildlings into the forest. I mean, that is fine. He did not want to be king anyway. Arya off to new adventures, Sansa queen of the north, Daenerys would have killed her. <laughs> I think so too. I think so too. Yeah. Bran, the all seeing, well, karma, he lost so much and in the end became king. I guess it's all good. I think John's adventures may come back to haunt us. They left that door open. It's all about money. Tyrion is a survivor. <laughs> so your mom liked it. Yeah. I mean, she's one of the people that liked it. But honestly, it. like, I read that and I was like, well, shit, that, that is. That's it. That's that's yeah. the end of Game of Thrones. Like that's truly a summation of the finale of Game of Thrones. Yeah. And in such a like in the eyes of an observe of like a of a fan of the books. Yeah. And and you know, of a generation that's different than ours, but but through the eyes of someone that just like enjoyed it for what it was. Mm-hmm. And I like I have a lot of respect for that. Like I yeah. respect no, that she just I, yeah. she really saw it for what the showrunners wanted people to see it for, which was Daenerys had to die, John loses everything but goes off with the wildling, so he'll probably be fine. You know, Arya goes exploring and that's wonderful. Starks out on top. Across yeah, Starks the board. on top, Sansa's queen of the yeah. north. Um, I will Tyrion have to is say, the king essentially. Like my friend Feldman had the best quote I've seen, period, of all of it. And it made because it made me really happy. He goes, Tyrion saying, and who has a better story than Bran in front of Arya after she killed the Night King and saved mm-hmm. humanity is what I and imagine Sansa. it feels like to be a woman in this country. <laughs> <laughs> and I love yeah. like, and Sons of just like Bran, Bran. When, he, like, when he said it's about Stark stories and who has a better story i honestly I thought, didn't yeah, think was he like, was gonna say brand yeah. no almost everybody john yeah. came back from the dead yeah. and yeah. like, like yeah. everyone has a great story Kid got yeah. pushed out a window but the good news is if and when we ever get the books george r, r. martin takes his sweet time yeah. with things and those books are really long and you trudge through a lot of stuff so we will get more than we wanted oh i'm yeah. very excited of exposition and that's what i was gonna say like and- it's how long has it been or has it ever been a thing where like this massive cultural event ended but you still have the source yep. material to catch up mm-hmm. and for better or for worse make changes uh, I it'll think be it's really be interesting to see what direction he goes with it and how much mm-hmm. influence he had in the show. What if George R. R. Martin changed nothing but just added detail? Yes. You know? Well, he yeah. said that he told the showrunners how it was all supposed to end, but that they'd take different routes yes. to get there. Yeah. Interesting. Which I, need, I think a lot of us would be okay with. Yeah. I need sure. to look into this. I can't find Don't the, die, dude. I can't find the um Please don't die, George. The R. post, but some someone used Reddit's promotional tool to like promote your own thing you can like pay to have your thing promoted yeah. it'll show um, up and reddit, reddit does that now too yeah <laughs> everyone i mean yeah so Got anyway money, somebody money. somebody paid for a ad for their own they wrote their own season that's amazing final season of game of thrones and all of the scripts exist and he promoted it and it's it's gaining a lot of traction on reddit cool and a lot of people were like holy shit that opening of your premiere episode of this season was better than anything in the entire Ooh. full season. That's that's wow. and so apparently Dang. it's like really fucking good. So I'll try to find it and then I'll post it somewhere or yes. I'll I'll tweet it or something. But uh, yeah, I can't find it right now yeah, for some reason. But me, but yeah, I'm so interested in it cuz 
I mean, and then there were all those people that were like, S- let's sign this petition to like <laughs> remake the, the season. Well, and it's and like, that's, that's really not okay. That's silly. I mean, this There's is so the story people. that they set out to tell. <laughs> yeah. This is the story we got. We are allowed to have feelings about it yeah. one way yeah. or the other. But to demand that they remake it. I think it's so funny. That's such like a our time of being like, please we do Sonic the Hedgehog. You know what would be it interesting worked. though? What if they... We took it a step further, like whatever with the petition. Okay, throw your tantrum. What if they started a GoFundMe though, and it got as much money as say that dude, that, million that, dollars? Dude that started yeah. one for the wall. Jesus. What if just out of the blue, <laughs> enough people donated? Is like, guys, we have a twenty million dollar budget to remake at least an episode of oh Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you would need HBO to sign off on that uh, licensing. And good luck. What if you're like luck. HBO? Take it. Just take the money. Here you go, HBO. <laughs> take it. Um, oh. All right. Well, listen. This is fun. Everybody. This was Great so time. fun. Shush, I love you, you guys. We love you. Thank you for having me. This Any is so fun. Um, please come. Please look. come back all the time. Anytime, and we love guys. you so much. And we not, miss you. If I'm not shooting something else, I'm happy to come by and play. There she is. Uh, perfect. I want you to do uh, just a, a drop in sometime. Don't even tell us. Okay. Yeah. That'll be fun. You're Turn allowed to. We want this place to be that place. Okay. Cool. So. Yeah. And also, anytime we have someone like you, Trisha, here, which there's no one like you, but every time we have you here, we got to actually squeeze more content out of you so Good. for those of you listening to this we're also mm-hmm. going to be making some uh, videos with Trisha yes. today and that should be really fun so look forward to that and also while I'm on the subject uh, if you go to patreon.com slash the valley folk you also get access to all sorts of really cool mm-hmm. exclusive fun stuff like this podcast before everybody else and, and uh, the full video podcast and yeah. the full video podcast you can watch Trisha and Lee yep. and myself and uh, this bird on the table and uh, <laughs> you can see it the whole time but yeah <laughs> so anyway time. lots of cool perks and stuff and uh, we got your show coming back up hot yep. and yeah. uh, lots of really fun things Rhett and Link did a trivia bidet that's live if yeah. you haven't yep. seen that it's live and I know it's a little old now since this is up now it's a fine. couple of days later watch but it. watch times. it if you haven't seen it it's literally Rhett and Link mm-hmm. getting their bare bums sprayed uh, Steve's in that episode as well speaking of Patreon exclusives we will also be putting <laughs> yeah. up the things that Steve did on that toilet that we could not put out to the yeah. general public. Oh, yeah, I I, if, that. so we shot it, and then when it was uh, when we were done, uh, Joe was like, "Well, that's not going in the episode." <laughs> with Red and, Link. and I was like, "Damn!" I really thought like this could be a huge video because not only is it Red Link, but it's also me doing something I've never done on camera <laughs> yeah. ever. We'll let it be huge for the Patreon. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, if you guys want to see what we're talking about, truly, I have done something that. It's it's like really debatably not, not okay. <laughs> I, Steve was telling me about this yesterday after we filmed the but game. But I mean, look, thing, and it is woo. The truth is, is if you're gonna be spraying my asshole point blank with an unnaturally powerful bidet, they wonder you're why gonna I won't activate do it. some natural occurrences. Okay, yeah. Don't give it away. Yeah, Sorry, please. spoiler alert. But anyway, he um, threw up all over himself. I threw up. Cases. I threw up bidet water. <laughs> Trisha, will you please tell everybody yeah. what you want to say and where to find you? Anything yes, that you find please. relevant and good? Um, oh, goodness. Well, thank you for this trip down memory lane, guys. Or oh what, did we, what did we Jackson! call it? Storytelling sidewalk or what something it? like what that? What was it? What? Thought sidewalk? Thought. Oh, uh, old thought sidewalk. Yeah. Old thought sidewalk. <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> gonna walk my um, thoughts down the old, old sidewalk. <laughs> gonna so think funny. till I can't no more. Oh, God. <laughs> So funny. Yeah, I, uh, so it, it, since SourceFed, I uh, started my own production company and do my own freelance digital content and hosting. Yeah. And uh, so right now you can see me on Kingston's channel, New Egg's channel, and Geek and Sundry's channel. And then I also have my own YouTube and Twitch channel, although my poor YouTube channel is so neglected. I maybe upload Let's once Let's talk or about twice your Twitch month. then. Where can they go uh, to your Twitch? Twitch.tv slash Trisha Hirschberger. Do it. Um, yeah, do that. And then on all the socials at that GRL Trish. Oh, wait, one more quick thanks before you go. You do this nice thing that we don't really realize how to do yet, but you like host our streams on oh, your yeah. stream we sometimes. Hosted, we, I added yeah. her. Yeah. That's very kind of you. Thank you for doing that. She's a wonderful yeah. lady. Yeah. We get a little um, notification and my heart sings yeah. when it happens. Yeah, so, so if anyone you. tunes into my Twitch channel when I'm not making content and you guys are making content, they'll get to see your lovely That's faces. So nice. And maybe <laughs> maybe subscribe and follow you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Well, we love you so much, Trisha, and we love you guys who are listening to this. And uh, yeah, check us out next time on the Valley Cast next week. And uh, yeah, take Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.